press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Google Play instance enable a native Android app to run without requiring installation. App with support Google Play instance can run in a variety of situations, such as when users click a link in a text message or use the try now button from Google Play Store. In this step, we will convert the existing application module which built itself into a separate application module which built a feature module. Creating a feature module will involve changing the plugin type of an app from android.application to android.feature. We will also rename the module from app to base. Reason we will explain later. Then you will create an install app module which with the name install that will use the application plugin. This module will build the AP. Every app that supports Google Play instance must have one feature module. Make us the base feature module. You will learn more about what that means later. For now, since we only have one feature module, we'll make it base feature module by setting the base feature flag to true. Mm, please don't worry about the error come during the sync and build process. It will remove later. So don't worry about what we gonna do is create the install module you are, most, you are mostly set up your new base feature module which contain all the application code now you will create minimum application module responsible for building the apk from file new module select phone and tablet and click next 
choose the following application package module name module name is installed and then package name select add no activity click finish next step move application id from base to install application will always live within the com.android.application gradle module since the base is no longer an application module we need to move it from the base build.gradle file and put application id in install module Next step is that update the package in base android manifest. Multiple manifests are not allowed to have the same package name. Because of this, we will change the package in base android manifest to um, just simply extend the dot base uh, whatever the package name of yours is. after changing the file and then try again to build the project and if it's successful then we have to move to the next module which is the instant app now try to build the project and you see the error the most important error is the dot r file error so you have to just replace the dot r file in all the java files like change it to the base creating the instant app build process right now we have a feature module called base which contain all the code the install module build the base module as an apk which is an installable app in this step we will create the instant app module which will build the base module as an instant app the process is same create the new module but this time you have to select the instant app and then just finish after giving the name of instant implement the project uh, base project in the instant app instant app which we created recently and then run the app instant app you will see the app is instant app is running without installing the actual app
to run your instant app select the instant app from run run configuration drop down and click run to verify the running app is in fact an instant app go to a recent screen and check you see app icon with the lightning bolt icon so now you verify the running app is instant app congratulations you have now created it and deploy an app with the google play instant you took an extra acting android app and restricted it to build both the full install apk and instant app that will be loaded when the user tap on the associated url this is the part one in part two i will explain how to open the instant app when clicking the url of your application in which is running on the web it will open the instant app in the phone please like comment share and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the future updates thank you very much